Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels quick tip. And in this video today, we're just going to show how to add a page to your funnel. And so let's just say we want to come over here and put a page right here at this point. We're going to click on the plus. We're going to come up here to page. And in this case here, let's take a little bit more in depth look at this because you can look at all the pages that you have available to you, which is uh, not what I'm looking at here. I had opt in. Okay. I had to click on there twice. So I got a bunch of all the pages. We have just what are my funnel pages, the ones that I've actually created. And then you got a bunch of templates in here for opt-ins, thank you pages, sales pages, order forms, upsells, and order confirmation. So you got all kinds of pages in here. And what you can do is you can, uh, of course, just choose one. And I'm just going to grab this one here. Gives you the name. You can put it in description. Gives you what is the path, the URL and the path on there. And and then it says, which style guide do you want to use? And we'll just say, this is the style guide I want to use. Do you want it indexed in the search engines or not? You can decide that right there. And then we can say, let's create this page. And when you do that, it takes a few seconds and it's going to go boom right there into the page. Now let's say uh, we don't want to use anything that was already pre-built. So we're going to come back up here and we're going to do page again. And then we're going to do new page. So right here, we're just going to call this our test page right there. Again, we can put in a description. And the URL you entered is already in use by Demo New Funnel, which I already knew that. And so if you leave this alone, what it'll do is it'll append a bunch of numbers and letters to the end. If you don't want that random stuff at the end, you're going to want to type in another word here. But I'm going to leave it for right now just to show you the URL that it will create. Of course, we can do another style guide, an index, uh, whether we want to index uh, by the search engines or not. And then we create the page. So let's just do this real quick. We're going to... Um, go into the step settings, I do believe is where we have to go. Uh, let's see if we're getting there. See, this is what it does if you don't choose to put any other words at the end because there was already another, um, there another page in here on this domain or subdomain on this subdomain that already was using the path of test. And so because of that, you can't have two of the same, so I had to distinguish it by putting these numbers and letters at the end. But you can just simply put this in here, and we can just say, oops, like we, need, uh, we need a dash in between words, and we're going to just say test now. And it'll check to see the URL is available. We will update this step. So now you have a nice clean path, and the path is showing right there on the, um, on the page itself. So that is it for putting in a new page. If you've got any questions, just let me know.